good. So these are again signs of myocardial infarction and when there is an associated left bundle branch block. Okay, so for the sake of, uh, you know, just to keep all these things as well in the mind, but they are not the best test, as I already showed you. The sensitivity is not very high. The specificity is also not very high. But to be aware, so what happens is, if you all will remember, there's a P wave, there's a QRS wave. So the QRS wave has an ascending limb and a, has a descending limb as well. So if in the ascending limb, the, the limb of the QRS, which is going up, okay, if there's an S wave, believe me, these signs are very notorious and all. So if you're trying to have a look, those S waves, there's notching and all in the QRS, you will come across a lot of those signs, even for VTs and um, even for this myocardial infarction as well. So in the ascending limb of the QR, of the S wave, if there's a prominent notch, but how will you call it as a significant notch? If it is more than 0 0.5 milliseconds, okay? If you come across that, that is what is Cabrera sign. However, the Chapman sign is in the ascending limb of the R wave, which you can see one of the examples over here. If you come across this, if these senses are going to be there, you can have a specificity. Yes, if someone is having an acute changes like this, 90% of the times, yes, exactly, it will be truly positive. So let's try to show you a practical example of what is happening. So if you look across this ECG, which is there, so this is again a left bundle branch block ECG, and then when you will be looking before MI and after MI. So what do you notice? In the ascending limb of the S wave, there's a notching which is coming up. And the notching is more than 0 0.5 milliseconds. Oh, sorry, 0 point, 0 0.05 seconds, actually, okay? So that is where, especially over here, you can see it in the V3 lead over here. So what was the Chapman sign? If you all will remember, it was in the notching in the ascending limb. So on an overall basis, whenever you see those notchings as well, you have to start thinking. There has been a MI, myocardial infarction as well. So like in the past month, it's not like immediately. Immediately as well, you can think of it. So, but you should be, uh, always the thing is, um, you should be able to, if possible, you, if you have an older ECG for comparison, you know. As I said, you never depend upon one sign or symptom to make your diagnosis. Always try to have a, more and more supportive evidence as well. So that's always more important. ECG, okay, fine. What about those blood chem biochemical parameters? What about the signs as well? Could you see some symptoms as well, like those things? So you mix it up, everything together, and then you, and the risk factors as well, okay? So as I was telling you, if you will put them all together, you can reach a specificity of almost 90%. 90% is really good value if you are thinking about diagnosis for sure. Uh, but sensitivity is pretty low. Okay? So to call someone as uh, truly negative, it may not be the best criteria. But yes, if you come across, you know, with these changes, yes, you should start having the suspicion, in fact. But medicine is the field of exceptions. Higher you will go in your field, there will be more and more exceptions you will keep on coming across. Believe me, this is how it is. Uh, so, yeah, on most of the time, so 90% yes, but 10% of the times it may not be happening. So now they have also been trying to see that how to even make it more better. So that is what is called as the occult MI study. Occult MI study was optimal cardiovascular diagnostic evaluation enabling faster treatment of myocardial infarction. So in that, what they did was, uh, they proposed a newer algorithm, what is called as a man's, uh, yeah, it sounds a bit gender biased, but okay, Rubin and man's algorithm, in fact. So this is also similar. If you will try to have a look, uh, like, you know, uh, it is almost sounding a bit similar to the Garbosa as well. But what happens is, they try to simplify the garbosa. So how did they try to simplify it? 
because that scoring which was there, they tried to say, okay, we don't believe in the concordancy, discordancy and all, okay, these are outdated concepts and all. We don't, okay, scoring concept also can be a little bit more difficult to follow and implement as well because we all are humans, okay? We all can't remember everything, in fact. So we can always refer to those things, what is happening over there and all. 